We couldn't be happier to introduce Robert Pang. He's such a beautiful soul, and he's going to be at our Energy Fest. And it, it is such a thrill, such an honor to have him here and to be able to shout, yay, yay, Robert. <laughs> I mean, he really is the real thing. You know, we've all had experiences with different healers, but Robert is, you will remember him all your life. He, he's been, he studied with his master uh, for uh, since he was eight years old. And I mean, this is quite something, quite something. When he was eight, he, by just accident, came upon a legendary monk who took him under and he was apprenticed and he had so many experiences that are just beyond anything that we can in the West really imagine, like doing a, at age 15, doing a hundred day water fast in a dark cave-like place in a monastery and um, developing healing powers, developing meditative powers, developing so many of the deep capacities that allow him to now be one of the world's most appreciated healers and uh, Qigong masters. And he taught a lot in China. He is now in the United States where he is a real hit. But um, <laughs> where he, when, when you work with him, he has so many layers upon layers of yeah. layers of experiences that have really cultivated his wisdom and his healing abilities. Um, probably you would not um, imagine your, your, your teenager doing a hundred day water fast. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> so Robert, it's just such a pleasure to be able to have you grace our conference, our, our energy uh, <laughs> fest. And um, please, please just say hello to our group and tell us a little bit about the master key keynote that you'll be giving. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, David, for inviting me for this beautiful festival, right? You know, ever since we meet, I feel that energy resonates so beautifully, just feel in love with each other without word, right? That is the energy. That is the energy. It go beyond the words, communications, underneath beautiful waves of loving cheese embracing each other. So I feel such a great honor to be in there, actually. And the, um, the, the speaking I'm going to, I'm going to do is uh, the master key, um, Qigong secrets for vitality, love, and wisdom. Actually, it's the same title as my book, right? All my uh, uh, years with my master, actually, he taught me, if you put in one word, that is this, the master key. Yeah, master key. Because my master, when I met him, actually, he was in the most miserable time in his life, maybe, because it's the peak time of Cultural Revolution. In China, started in 1966 and finished in 1976, actually 77. And uh, at that time, the new religion were banned. So he, as an orphan, grew up in a monastery. There is no home to visit to the other relatives. So he wandered to my hometown which is like a, 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 a iron steel plant, find a very low paid job as a boiler room attendant. But he made this humble, humble job graceful. Everybody loves him. Although they, he's like a hermit, nobody knew he's like a legendary monk and amazing legendary healer as well. I was lucky to be chosen as his disciple, actually the last disciple, yeah. So what is, the master key, yeah, first, the master key. Well, um, we have a lot of energies inside the body, outside the body. Actually, the whole world is made of the energy. Now we come to the point, even to the quantum physics, actually there's something even refined after quantum physics. So whatever made of this world mm -hmm. is made of the energy, yeah. So this energy inside of us, they have some place to collect, to function more, targetedly like say for example there's a lot of energies inside the head in the center of the head someone call it third eye right 
but of course it's more than third eye itself. But energy over here, when it is strong and healthy, you feel guided. Yeah, it's like you have a good GPS inside your head telling you how to make the right decisions. Turning left or turning right, whether you're going to buy a stock today or whatever, right? It's go beyond some intellectual or logic steps. It is beyond because it's universal energy. Yeah. I find this like, uh, now I'm nearly 60 years old. Yeah. And, but if I recall back to every critical time when I make decisions, I think I made it, but if I recall it, you always feel there's a magic hand moving a chest to maneuver and make you to make the right decision. So it is the bigger energy, maybe our bigger self, our masters embodies some kind of energy guiding you. That is the wisdom chi. Yeah. Of course, when it's weak, then that GPS malfunctions. Yeah. I hope that day when I drive to Cleveland, here works well so that I'm going to the other, <laughs> not going to the other destination, right? Yeah. So that's one center. Yeah. One center we call the wisdom center and we call it Dantian. Yeah. That the concentrated energy is called Dantian, upper Dantian associated with your wisdom. Uh, there's a lot of subdivisions of wisdom, including clairvoyance, right? Including someone who have amazing healing powers, healing instinct. They're all hidden there. And then you manifest according to different to a different person's uh, personality or we say what you inherit with, then you can develop with all kinds of special things, special abilities according to each personality. Then another energy center is in the center of your chest, a heart center, okay, yeah. Here, when it's strong and healthy, you feel happy, you feel loving, and more important, you feel loved as well. Some people just feel loving, and they don't feel the same way loved, it's still half done. The complete loving chi, you feel loving and loved the same time. It's like yin and yang. It's like yin and yang. And the extension, the extension of the loving center, our hands and fingers, we sense a lot of feelings from the fingers, right? From the hands. When we meet an old friend, what do we do? We hug, right? We hug. Why do we hug? Because you want to express your loving chi. You feel you want to express it. Yeah. We don't hug it with our with our legs or foot, right? You kick, <laughs> right? Because that one is going with another center. We call it vitality center, which is in the in the, in the lower torso over here. The holds the energies of our vitality. So when here chi is strong and healthy, you feel vital. You feel, uh, you're like a juicy fruit. You don't want to uh, stop. You just want to all the, do the time, all the, all the movement. You know, little boy or girls, four years old, five years old, they don't want to stop. Yeah, they are not tired. Well, they do feel tired, but as soon as they're tired, what do they do? What do they do? They close their eyes, they sleep. So the shift of, Activity and, 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 and rest are very sharp. But when we're getting older, that kind of kidney chi is not so strong. That switch is like an old switch on the wall. It's on and off all the time. So when you need to rest during the night, you're wide awake. As soon as you touch your <laughs> pillows, you're like, oh, I cannot sleep. But in the morning, you need to switch on. Then you're, oh, I feel dozy or drowsy, <laughs> right? I feel tired. That is also, that, that's the sign of vitality is getting uh, less. But when we have good cultivations of energy through Qigong practice or energy medicine practice, that is very concentrated. Then when it's concentrated, then that it, 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 it easy goes with our mind power, right? Then it goes wherever you need. So it's your, 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 your tailoring it, yeah. Like I said, the extension of two legs and toes deeply rooted on the ground, getting us connected with the earth chi. So when your vitality is strong, you feel grounded. Well, this part also connected with sexual power and birth power as well. So that keeps you young, keeps you charismatic and sexy, right? Good shape. <laughs> Middle Dantian loving center, right? That was vitality center. When it's weak, then you're very disabled. 
yeah, many things you want to do is hard to do that. The simplest work, if you're like mountains of heavy task, yeah. Middle than 10, when it's weak, of course, you feel miserable because if you're disconnected with love, then you feel lonely, isolated, depressed, yeah. Mm. Up than 10, of course, when it's misled, then you are misled. So all this, if we can cultivate it with good energy, then we are guided, we are loving, and we have ability to carry this loving chi and wisdom to make it achieve to what we want to go. Yeah. So that's the three energy center with the three dantians that we want to develop. Another one actually is the central meridian, because central meridian help them to align together into one direction. Yeah. Because sometimes we may have one very developed and the other is weak. Say, for example, uh, you may have here up and very developed. Someone, if they do business, they are tuned well, they can be very successful with business, earning good money, right? But if here is clustered, it's weak, no matter how successful, how big money you make, you don't feel happy. We do have a lot of people are like that, right? They have amazing business career, but depressed. Someone even to the point of killing himself, right? How about reversely? Here, big heart, you want to hug everybody, you want to serve the people and uh, send in love. But if here is not so well developed, if we have this kind of neighbor, they can be a very loving, uh, uh, adorable neighbor, but meanwhile can be annoying maybe, right? Because they may <laughs> knock at your door at midnight, waking up from deep sleep and telling you very excitedly how to cope with your insomnia, right? <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't have good guidance, yeah. So whatever, so all these structures, if one is misled, then they can make a whole as being miserable in one way or the other. Then the other one is central meridian. The central meridian actually align them. If three Dantians are like three horses, central meridian is harnessing them. So they're moving in one direction. Because if one turn left, one turn, turn right, we are torn apart, right? So we when one go one in directions, we are like four driving a four wheel drive. Powerful car in muddy road, in sandy road, in hills, we drive with confidence with might, right? So actually we call this, I we do call this four golden wheels. That's my master's name. Each center is a golden wheel. He said that's four so, golden wheels. That is the one for dynamic happiness. Yeah. For master key of dynamic happiness. Dynamic dynamic happiness is because the happiness is always the conditions are always changing. So if you're tracing the conditions, then you are at lost. Yeah. But if you have the spirit of that kind of dynamic happiness there, whatever situation is, you can very easily adjust it. If I lose, you know, my parents passed away. Of course, I was miserable. I was very sad. And if I lose my job, I was depressed for some time. That's normal to everybody. Same to, to the Chico master as well, right? But if you are miserable for one day or two, you're depressed for one week or even two months, that's reasonable. You're miserable for 20 years, then they say you're sick, right? <laughs> mm. So <laughs> when the energy are cultivated well for this among these four golden wheels, then all these difficult situations are a piece of cake. Yeah, it's easy for you to maneuver. Yeah, for you to maneuver. Then uh, like, Sometimes I joke and say, well, practice in Qigong, I cannot promise you to be rich. But it doesn't matter whether you are rich or not, you'll be happy, right? <laughs> you'll be happy rich, you'll be happy poor. <laughs> then you are rich. <laughs> so Robert, one of the things that I love about your system is the simplicity yeah. that we are talking about wisdom, love, vitality, and you not only have those three qualities, they're also the body parts and also the energies of those. And so bringing them into that happy balance is, you know, I can get my mind around that. One of the things I love about 
your system, Donna, is that it's so complicated. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, you know, you have nine energy systems and seven chakras is one of the systems. <laughs> and, and four, so so, so it's, it's a map that we can use for really complex healing. And that's, that's wonderful for healing. It's just wonderful. Sincere. You, I, I'm sincere. <laughs> you, you think I'm putting you down. I'm, I'm just making a, a contrast. Okay, right. That, that, that in Robert's system, that by having these three areas of major focus, you can get your mind around that. And you'll be teaching us about that. And in your um, pre-conference workshop, which, which is called Flow Like Water, that you'll also be, I guess, giving us specific exercises for that. Do you want to comment briefly on, on your pre-conference workshop? Oh, sure, sure, with pleasure, yeah. Well, I agree. Donna, yours is very comprehensive. The book <laughs> I'm still reading to still digest it. <laughs> yeah, but oh, well, that makes more sense. We should work together. <laughs> anyway. So uh, thank you. So flow like water, yeah, that's the, uh, uh, a um, movement exercise. That's another thing, because uh, there's eight cycles. If, if I don't tell you, you think I'm doing some Tai Chi. Yeah, I'm doing Tai Chi. But you know, in Tai, tai Chi in China, have a, have a saying, they say, for practicing Tai Chi, uh, even after three years, actually someone even say after 10 years, you're still shy to say I'm a Tai Chi person. Meaning uh -huh. Tai Chi actually is very difficult to get the essence. Yeah. After three years, it's still very uh, hard. Yeah. Well, I, when I was in the university, you know, I, 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 I learned English. Then I, I stayed in the university teaching English. Then my, uh, my spare time, I teach Qigong. Then my Ding is a Tai Chi, actually is a, uh, he practiced Tai Chi for 20 years. Then when he learned, I learned, I teach Qigong, then he learned, I taught him Qigong. After like one lesson, like half an hour, he was in tears. He said, I practiced Tai Chi for 20 years. I've never felt so strong Qi as half an hour class with you so that shows how complicated how subtle the tai chi is but of course tai chi once you master you get some breakthrough it's very amazing so the uh the eight cycles is like uh, uh, uh we because because tai chi tai chi is moving the uh yin and yang you know that diagram of yin and yang yeah. In Chinese, actually, we call it Tai Chi diagram, yin and yang. Yeah. So Tai Chi movement actually is based on the principle of yin and yang. Moving circle, moving eight, which is infinitive. So when you have that kind of movement in your mind, you don't need to spend too much time to say how precisely I got my hands in it. The Chi is moving you. Yes. So that's, yeah, that's why the simplicity comes, how it comes from, yeah. So when you have that energy flows your body, then it's like river or water flows through the creeks. Wherever you need to go, they never go straight. They go winding the ways because they always find the best ways that they can move on. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's how it's composed with eight different uh, cycles stroking mm -hmm. the water sound at sunrise yeah so you that's the empower different dantians three dantians then we open the heart embracing the day hugging yeah the, everybody hugging your day right hugging your day then dancing with the universe so this was way to regular central meridian like i mentioned in central meridian to make yourself as the center of the universe yeah when my master was teaching me uh to cultivate the energy of the central meridian he said Keep in mind of the central meridian all the time. Whenever you bring your mind into your central meridian, you become to be the center of the universe. Well, everybody mm -hmm. has his own universe. It's not that you are, you're, you're taking the other's universe. We are carrying our own universe. Everybody's meeting together is the universal meeting to exchange energy. Yeah. Then turning the will of heaven. Yeah. Because our heart and 
kidneys, they are the big part of the body. And then when we're moving like this, then the big joints of our body are lubricated, especially for the knees. Because when we're getting older in China, we have a saying, we started aging at the feet, actually including the joints. Because when we are less capable of moving because of the joints or the arthritis, we are not capable of moving more vivid, uh, more actively, then that's the time we begin to lose a lot of vitality power. Then we're getting age, yeah. Then, yeah, all stirring five elements, different organs, then rising mist and the flower, uh, and, and especially playing Tai Chi Bo. Playing Tai Chi Bo is my favorite. There's the numbers, uh, number, uh, number uh, seven, yeah, number seven. Playing Tai Chi Bo is like Tai Chi. But they're actually they're empowering different energy center. This one, this one, or this. It looks like beautiful, graceful dancing. And if it is real Tai Chi, it, it, it have to take three months. Now we're going to cover it within a few hours. Of course, I'm going to offer some uh, free uh, videos for the participants so that you can follow me. You don't have to struggle remember every step. And... Uh, so then I feel safe that you're doing right. <laughs> All right, so that's about eight cycles and make your body supple. When we are supple, you know, in, 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 in Lao Tzu, in Tao Te Ching, Lao Tzu, he said, if you can reverse, you like an infant baby, like a baby, then you are immortal, right? This <laughs> works partially for that, makes you supple at all different parts of the body, including internally, organs subtle. When it is hardened, that is like we're getting old, right? So we try to really soften that. Then uh, even if we're 100 years old, we still smile like Donna, right? <laughs> <laughs> Radiant smile. True, truly, yeah. it's just like that kind of pure, uh, pure joy coming out. It's, it's it, it exuding it like ripples of the water. And it's very um, affecting to all the others. Uh, that's what we are looking for. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. <laughs> so this is a beautiful warm up for Energy Fest. I'm so glad that you were able to join us today and just thrilled that you'll be there in Cleveland. Yeah, we can't wait yeah. to see you. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah, don't mention that. Oh, yeah, we're going to go there too. Yeah. So we're going to be <laughs> a beautiful time with you. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you, everyone that's tuned in. Yes. And we really hope we'll see you in Cleveland. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>